Uh, in this video, we will <coughs> see some uh, exercise uh, <coughs> problems, no, no numericals in this, only on the understanding of the gravitational force. Okay. So the, this, is, this is from the textbook, uh, ex from exercise, page number 143. If the moon attracts the earth, why does the earth not moving towards the moon? Just now we discussed in the other video. So the I'll write the answer. Okay. Answer is the earth and the moon experience equal gravitational force this is important this is gravitation force from each other however the mass of the earth is much larger than the mass of the moon and hence it accelerates at a lesser than the acceleration rate of the moon. towards the earth for for this reason the earth does not move towards the moon so I'll read it for you the earth and the moon experience equal gravitational force from each other. Okay, equal equal forces. The force is equal. However, the mass of the earth is much larger than the mass of the moon. Hence, it accelerates at a lesser than the acceleration rate of the moon towards the earth. For this reason, the earth does not move towards the moon. So, this is an important uh, question. <coughs> you should answer like this. This can come for two Mars. Then we will go to the exemplar. Question number four. <coughs> this is multiple choice question. A boy is whirling a stone tied with a string in an horizontal circular pot as we discussed in the previous video. If the string breaks the stone, you know very well now, let us study the given choice. A. Will continue to move in the circular path. If it is cut, no, it will go in a straight path. Will move along a straight line towards the center of the circular path. No, it will move away from the center of the circular path. But we have seen. Maybe I will draw a little bit like this. If it is cut, then it will go straight like this. Correct. <coughs> C. Will move along a straight line tangential to the circle of path. Yes, it will move straight. Tangential. I will tell you what is tangential later. Will move along a straight line perpendicular to the circular path away from the boy. It is not moving perpendicular away from the boy. No. 
this is also wrong. So the correct answer is C. So now we will study what is a tangent. Tangent is a circle. This is given in the textbook uh, under the heading more to know. So a straight line that meets the circle at one and only point is called a tangent is a circle. See a straight line. A C is a straight line that meets the circle. This is a circle at one and only point that is B is called a tangent to the circle. Straight line ABC is tangent to the circle at point B. So please remember what is tangent from this definition. Okay. The next question is question number 15 from example. An apple falls from a tree because of gravitational attraction between the earth and the apple. We know now this. If F1 is the magnitude of the force exerted by earth on the apple and F2 is the magnitude of force exerted by the <coughs> apple on the earth. Suppose this is earth, this is apple. F1 is, the F1 is the magnitude of force exerted by the earth on the apple. So that is, this is F1 and <coughs> And F2 is the magnitude of force exerted by apple on the earth. That is, that is this way. Correct. Correct. This, these are the two forces. So let us see now. <coughs> F1 is very much greater than F2. So I'll read again. <clears throat> F1 is very much greater than F2. Just now we studied. F1 and F2 should be same. Because of the. <clears throat> third law of motion. To every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. So this is wrong. F2 is very much smaller. Very much greater than F1. F2 is very. No. Not also true. F1 is only a little greater than F2. No, F1 and F2 are equal. Okay, forces are equal, only accelerations are different. Okay, that please remember. Now we will see the last question 16. What is the source of centripetal force? that planet requires to revolve around the sun. On what factors does that force depend? Okay. So the answer is like this. It is a gravitational force. Let us see. gravitational force okay this force depends on the on the <coughs> of the masses of the planet and sun and the distance between them. Here I have <coughs> selected this question only for for this thing no still I have not introduced you these things it is a gravitational force attractive forces so what is the source of centripetal force the planet requires to revolve around the sun it is a gravitational force for this purpose only I selected this this we will study in the next video
that is <clears throat> this force it depends on the product of the masses of the planet and the sun and the distance between them this we will study in the next class so <clears throat> in this class what we understood is there is a gravitational force of attraction between any two objects <clears throat> in the universe and the forces are same whatever may be the size of the mass only acceleration will be different